Hi, this is Nicole from Creative Cottage and Company here today to show you how to make your new logo a watermark, brush, and Photoshop elements. Now, if you've just ordered this from our shop, you can find your watermark files labeled watermark in your zip file, or you can uh, make your own. It just needs to have a transparent background and the image itself needs to be in a dark color, preferably black. So this is a two-step process. It's going to save you so much time in the long run, and it's much, much better than adding the image to each photo as a watermark. So all you need to do is go to Edit, Define Brush. It's going to give you this little pop-up and ask you to name your brush. I'm going to name my brush Watermark. Click OK, and it's done just like that. Now we're ready to apply it to our photos. So I'm going to come over here, open my photo, and to select your brush tool you can press B on your keyboard, or you can see it's over here in the corner. Now your brush color is always going to be your foreground color. You can select any colors off of your photo, which is a nice touch or you can simply decide to go with some of the colors that you use in your design schemes. So I'm going to use white today. Now in order to select our new watermark brush, you're going to come up here and select this drop down in the most recent brush you've made. It's going to be all the way down at the bottom. Double click on that and if you want to you can use the brush opacity I like to add it as a new layer. That gives me more control. I can sharpen my watermark. I can play around with it in the layers panel with the blending mode. So in order to do that, you can come down here to the bottom, this little tool here, to create a new layer. Click that, and then it's going to add you a new layer here on top of your photo. So now that we have our brush selected, the color we want, I'm going to come over here and use my bracket keys on my keyboard to make my watermark bigger or smaller. So let's stamp that on right here. And first of all, I like to go to Enhance and Auto Sharpen, and that sharp it sharpens up the watermark. Okay. So, there's various things you can do with this. You can drop the opacity down to make it very subtle. Or another nice artistic subtle change is the blending modes, overlay or soft light. Those are kind of nice touches too. They still do very well at marking the photo and protecting them, but at the same time they're a little bit more soft and subtle. Okay, that's basically all there is to it. So now you're ready, you can just stamp along and stamp your watermark right on. Hope you enjoyed our tutorial today. Hope it enables you to watermark lots of photos and have fun changing the color and uh, really just being yourself with your photos. Thank you for watching today and enjoy.